Hello, happy Friday. It's so good to see you for this Friday update video. I hope you had a wonderful week and that you're looking forward to the upcoming weekend. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be a little wet, just like last weekend, but maybe not quite as wet as last weekend. So a few things um, to bring to your attention today. Um, as you may have heard, uh, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops and Archbishop Lurie has asked that we observe today, May 13th, as a day of prayer and fasting uh, for a number of intentions uh, for our government, uh, for the upcoming decision in the uh, Dobbs Supreme Court case, for the overturning of the Roe versus Wade and Planned Parenthood versus Casey decisions, uh, and then also uh, for for all of the unborn children and all of the expectant mothers um, that they might feel the support and care of all people of goodwill and especially uh, our Catholic Church family. Uh, of course, we've seen a lot about this over the last uh, few uh, weeks, actually the last week, and uh, I wrote a little bit about it in my um, bulletin column this weekend. I think uh, now is the time uh, for us Catholics to show that we really do care about the value and dignity of human life um, in all of its stages, pre-born, born, born uh, the elderly, uh, those who are sick, those who are chronically ill, that uh, we really we do care about the broad spectrum of life issues and uh, especially in the state of Maryland. I think the, um, the fight is just beginning uh, because certainly this state will uh, become, we anticipate a sanctuary state for the for the terrible uh, scourge of abortion. So, you know, let's keep all of this in our prayers today on May 13th. And let's ask uh, our Blessed Mother, today's the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima, to pray for us and uh, to pray for all who are journeying through difficulties, especially difficult pregnancies at this time. Uh, in line with that, just a reminder that every Friday we have Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament in the chapel. Uh, following the daily mass until 7 p.m. in the evening. So you're free to stop by any time um, and just spend time with the Lord in prayer. Uh, Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament is a wonderful, a wonderful prayer time, especially uh, among all the kind of noise that we, we encounter uh, in our daily lives. When you drive onto the campus this weekend, you'll see a large tent uh, in the corner of the parking lot. That tent is part of our confirmation retreat. The young people who are anticipating receiving the sacrament uh, next month will be on retreat this weekend from Friday evening until uh, the 11 o'clock mass on Sunday morning. So I would uh, ask uh, your charity to please remember these young people uh, in your prayers as they approach this final sacrament of initiation. You may have also seen in the news that the relics of St. Bernadette are visiting Baltimore. They're uh, currently at the Cathedral of Mary Our Queen and they'll be there through Sunday afternoon. I included a link in my email uh, today uh, to an article from the Catholic Review that answers some questions about uh, what the relics are, why they're here. Um, if you're interested in that article, maybe you're interested in going to the cathedral to visit the relics. There's a, a full schedule in, in that article that I linked to in my email. I had the uh, privilege uh, some years ago of uh, visiting the uh, convent of St. Bernadette in Nevers, France, uh, where her body is actually incorrupt. Um, so if you don't know, St. Bernadette uh, saw the Blessed Virgin Mary at Lourdes, uh, which is in southern France. So it's a very famous apparition of Mary. Uh, there and um, the Lourdes is a pilgrimage, uh, an, an international pilgrimage destination, especially for people who are sick. The Lourdes water there um, is said to have miraculous healing uh, qualities. So I did have the vi uh, pleasure and honor to visit her relics and venerate them in Nevers a few years ago, as I mentioned. But uh, you don't have to go there to do that. They're right here in our hometown. So. Uh, the cathedral is about a half hour or so, uh, 40 minutes from here, so you might want to take a ride down to, to venerate her relics. And finally, um, we are hosting now our Gabriel Network Baby Shower. That Gabriel Network Baby Shower helps supply our outreach center 
for the uh, moms who come to us in need. Um, baby bottles, formula, clothes, uh, you name it. Uh, a lot of the families who come to the Outreach Center need help uh, with those sorts of supplies. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we, uh, we want to uh, be supportive of life at all of its stages and we want to help these mothers take care of their young children. So if you can help with that Gabriel Network baby shower, the information is in today's bulletin. All right, I think that's everything for today. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you at Mass this weekend. God bless you. Bye now.